<laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja. And what, before I get too far along in today's training, I do want to make sure that you can hear me. So let me refresh my profile real fast. And perfect. Okay, so we you we can hear me. Let me go ahead and get everything set up now that I have access again. So this weekend was amazing. Let me just go ahead and, and talk about that for a second while while I get this um, back together. This weekend was amazing. I went to an event uh, for. Um, people who are in the home business industry, who are looking to help more people, create more life in their life, bring more, you know, joy and freedom to their lives. And it was just an amazing event. And I was so inspired. And what I thought was really awesome about it is that it was actually a, an event for multiple companies. It was a very generic event. But a lot of the people from the company that I use in order to learn Forex were there. And it was so awesome to be able to meet these new people, connect, and it was just so great. So let me know if you go to anything like that, any events that are are either for a hobby of yours or maybe something that you do for your business or maybe even your day job would love to know so let's go ahead and get started um, I am not looking at the chat right now so I will check back here in a minute um, once I can move the screen back to where I can see it so let's talk about pips <laughs> so for those of you that may not know what what those are um, a pip is basically a unit of measurement that explains the change in value between currencies. So when you're looking at a chart, um, you'll see, I've, I've done trainings on this before. If you want the information, please ask for it. I've done training on traditional Japanese candlesticks. I've done the training on Heikinashi candlesticks. But whatever view you have, there's always a price that you'll see on the right side or left, however, however you have your um, view set up. And that price is your exchange price. What that means is, let's say you're looking at a Euro um, USD pair. So that means that you're looking at what it takes to have one Euro to one USD item. So that's your currency. And I've, got, I've done a, a video on that as well. So your PIP is the change in that. So let me go ahead and share my screen to show you kind of a little bit more about what this looks like. Okay. So let me zoom in so that you can see what's going on. All right. So as you can see right here, let's just say that this was the value of some currency pair that you had. In most currency pairs, the fourth decimal, the fourth decimal, okay, um, is usually one pip. In, in a Japanese yen, it's usually the second pip. So for that would be the JPY pairs. Why is this? I don't know, don't really care. If you guys want the information, I can fi I can find out for you. But that's basically what it is. So a pip is usually the fourth decimal plate place and uh, on most pairs that are non-Japanese yen, and then the second one is for Japanese yen. So, <clears throat> so that's how you can tell where a pip is. And if you look here, I have it labeled a little bit to, so you can see the difference. So right here, this is eight pips, right? This three is 30 pips. This five is 500 pips. This one here is 1,000 pips. And this one on the top is 10,000 pips. So that's how you can read that in a normal pair. If it were Japanese yen, then this would be five pips. This would be 10 pips. This would be 100 pips. Again, that's only if it were JPY. Now, what is a pipette? So a pipette, as you can see right here, that is um, one-tenth of a pip. So that's why you see over here, right, that this, too, is 0.2 pips. Again, that is for non-JPY. If it were JPY, then this would be the pipette. All right. So as I said, um, pip is usually the last decimal place, and, and it's second if it's a Japanese yen. So your trades, whether you lose them or win them, the number of pips that is changed from when you get into your trade to when you get out, that's how many pips you've lost or won. And that can be a huge factor in whether you blow your account or not. I've also done trading on this. Please ask me for it if you would like it. So let's say that you changed you know, only four pips. Well, then it would be a 0 .0004 change if it was regular or 0 .02 if it were a Japanese yen pair. So I just said that. All right, so how to calculate the value of a pip. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this again. 
This part's going to be a little bit mathy. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to use a free tool online for you to be able to do this. I just want to share it with you so you kind of understand how it works. So let's take a Euro GBP pair, okay? Euro GBP. So that means that we have one Euro GBP where it's valued, the exchange rate is 1.25 GBP. So for every one Euro, you are exchanging for 1.25 GBP. That's what that means. So when you're calculating the value of a pip for that specific pair, you're going to take the value change, which is that 0 0.0001 for normal or 0 0.01 for Japanese yen. You're going to take the exchange rate, which is that uh, uh, price you'll see on, on your charts, and you're going to multiply those two. Okay. So your um, exchange rate is 1 euro per 1.25, so that's why you have 1 divided by 1.25 over here, and you multiply that by this value change, okay? Once you have that, this is the pip value of your base currency. So for your base currency, your base currency is the second currency in a currency pair, all right? So GBP is our base currency on our Euro GBP pair. Now, Knowing that, let's say that we use a mini lot. I'll go into lots later, but it's basically how much you're actually putting at risk per um, unit of trade. So let's say you did a mini lot, which in this instance would be 0.1 on a lot or a 10,000 units. So if this were traded, right, as you can see, oops. <laughs> if this were traded at 10,000 units, then you would multiply this by 10,000 and you get 0 0.08. So if you're trading 0.1 lots, you would actually be trading 0.8 euros um, for your GBP. So that's the change of position per pip, okay? So if you had a change of 10 pips, then you actually won eight or, uh, you actually won or lost eight euros, right? So this, this is the amount that you put at risk and this is the change that happened, the number of pips that were changed. So if you had 10,000 units, right? Ah, oh, I did it again. If you had 10,000 units at risk and they were worth 0 0.008 euro per unit traded, then each change in pip is 0.8. So if you won or lost 10 pips, you won or lost 8 euro. So how do you find the pip value in your current account denomination? So perhaps you're trading with a lot, excuse me, a currency pair that does not include your, your main denomination, which is the, what you are trading with in your actual account. So my account, I use the US dollar. I am in America. And so in order to do that, I'm going to give you an example. So let's say that we go back to what we were just talking about with GBP USD. So in no matter what pair it is, you multiply or divide the pit value that we saw above, right? So this is for the 10,000 units um, by the exchange rate of the account currency. So again, my exchange rate would be for this ex particular example, which was um, G uh, Euro GBP, right? That was what the original one was, Euro GBP. If I'm looking to go from GBP to USD, then I would take my currency pair, right? GBP USD. And I would find out the exchange rate. At the time that I made these notes, that was what the current exchange rate was for this pair. And I would take that, and just like before, again, don't worry about the math. I'm just telling you how to get there. So just like before, I would take that 0.8 per pip change and multiply it by the exchange rate, which is 1 great British pound divided by 1.2655 US dollar. That gives you per pip, I don't know if it's finished, it didn't, okay. So following math, that gives you 1.0124 US dollar per move of the Euro GBP pair if you are, if you are trading 10,000 units or a mini lot. Again, I know that's probably a lot of information and probably more math than you ever wanted to see after high school, <laughs> but that's how that works. So use this process if you want to manually do it. However, if you want to automate this, let me go ahead and show you how that works. So there's this website. <clears throat> I didn't set this up properly. Sorry, doing it now. Yep. 
All right. So there's a website. It's called babypips.com. And this is a really cool site, um, but quite frankly, the, the system that I use with all the live educators and mentorship and everything, um, I feel like that's going to help you curve your, uh, shorten your learning curve a lot faster. But this site does provide a lot of value as well for free. This is one of those pieces of value. This is a PIP value calculator. So you come in here, you choose your pair, you, you show the ask price. This is based off of what's currently going on. So check your MT4 trader and um, the position size or units that you're going to put in. Your account currency, right? And then you just calculate whatever the PIP value is. So let's say that the ask price was 1.2555 or whatever for the Euro USD. Let's actually do um, GB, mm, a non-USD pair. So let's say Euro GBP, position size 0.1. Oh, hold on. Let's go back to those notes. <laughs> All right, so let's say that the Euro GBP was at 1.25, and the price for GBP USD was whatever I said earlier, 1.2655, 1.2655. Calculate, so 0 0.00013. Check your position. I, I may be using this wrong, <laughs> but <clears throat> but that's basically it. <laughs> so I, I would go and suggest if um, I might be using it wrong because I don't. I, that's not the information I got uh, for that. But that's just a free tool, and I can't really say what is or is not going to be accurate because I didn't make it. Um, and this information I actually shared with you today was actually from Baby Pips. So I, again, I don't know why it's uh, different. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day. As I said in my description, I try and do these every week because I truly believe that Forex is the only skill set that exists that allows you to, po to potentially create um, additional income without having to be a salesperson, without having to go to a job. You know, it may not necessarily replace your income, but it could potentially give you a couple hundred bucks a month, potentially replace your income. I can't speak on that because I don't know your level of, of education. But again, if you want to know more, I have tools, I have mentorship, I have a lot of things that can help you shorten that learning curve. So please do message me, leave a comment below, whatever it is to get you that information. And even if it's not for you, that's totally cool. Just want to make sure you have it. So again, as you see in the cross, scrolling across this screen, I am not a licensed financial advisor. I'm simply sharing with you what I'm learning and how I'm able to improve my own trading so that you can do the same. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Cassandra, aka The Prosperous Heart. <laughs> Also, Daily Wealth Ninja. Sorry, that's my different business um, for digital marketing. I am also the Daily Wealth Ninja uh, talking about Forex today. And if you want a free gift, go ahead and go to my Daily Wealth Ninja site. Uh, it's facebook.com forward slash Daily Wealth Ninja. And then send me this message, 5DBC. If you're on my YouTube, there'll be a link down below. Um, but send me this message and you will get a free five-day Forex Basics Boot Camp as well as where to go in order to implement what you learn so that you can get feedback on it. So again, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, I guess let me make sure there's no questions. <laughs> uh, I don't see any, so... Oh, it won't show me. Um, Gio Giovanna, I will have to respond later because my site isn't showing it to me. Actually, let me just go ahead and see if I can... Um, see what your comment was by opening a new page. Oh, thanks. I appreciate your uh, support there. <laughs> All right, so since there's, since there's no questions, I'll go ahead and get off. Thank you again so much. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.